This segment is sponsored by BIA. Welcome to Homes with the Hetheringtons. Hi, everybody. It's Homes with the Hetheringtons. Case in point, here's two of them. We have Hetheringtons here, Lorena Will. And also, we have Rona Braddix with us. She's an interior designer, and she has Rona Interiors. We're going to get some tips from her in just a second. Why are we talking about this? Because people are spending more time in their homes, and Lorene, really it's time for people to take a look around and make some changes. Uh, absolutely. And you know what's great is you can do so much on a dime budget. You know, if your budget is literally, you know, $10, or if it's 100 or 1000 take a look at the rooms that you are spending the most time in. Like this kitchen, of course, right. we're here at Pulte Homes, and it's a beautiful new build. Um, but the plant like this is probably $25, and look how it's changed the experience of your kitchen. So yeah. take a look hard at where you're at, where uh -huh. you're spending most time at, and then look at okay pillows rugs um, blankets like any anything that you can affordably do to trick out your home because you're spending more and more time here and I'm right. so excited to have Rona here because she's got all kinds of ideas for all us. All right Rona you're on tell us. <laughs> well it is all about textures and like you said Lorraine textiles is a big one of those. Um, it's a great way to bring sophistication and character to the space without feeling cluttered so um, introducing textiles like pillows and throws really look at your rugs in the spaces to tie in your entire room together. Um, Another great way to add texture is through your plants. So adding even an artificial plant in your space, if you're not a green thumb, that's absolutely fine. And just immediately, <laughs> yeah. We kill everything. <laughs> me too, trust me, me too. <laughs> but it's such a great way to immediately instill some life in your space. Um, and another great way is your walls. There's a lot of square footage on your walls and don't neglect that. So bring in some sculptural mirrors, create a gallery wall with your framed family photos. Photos. Yeah. Um, there's so many ways to treat your walls rather than just a painting. So get creative. Get creative. And well, if we're starting in a few rooms, which rooms do you recommend? Yeah, I, I think that the biggest ones uh, that are easiest to fix on a dime are probably going to be your bedroom and your bathroom. Uh, a lot of times those are afterthoughts, but I think it's really important to make sure to remember to that they're actually uh, rooms as well. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so I mean, there's things that you could do with just adding in pottery, plants, you know, photos, all that kind of yeah. stuff. Bedding. It's just really yeah. easy to do. And those are the spaces you spend so exactly. much time in. And you use them every yeah. In fact, it's, get out of the bathroom a little more, yeah. will you? Okay. Exactly. <laughs> Rona, tell us about colors. What are the trends for that? So color trends are really moving away from the grays that you've seen that have been so hot for the last decade or so. But not to worry. To add some sophistication, just layer in some ivories and neutral tones, and it'll immediately brighten up the space and add some depth to your rooms. Good. Okay. We mentioned the showers Will's going to be taking because he has something called a Let's Get Moving campaign. <laughs> Campaign, is that right? Yes, it is. Tell us yeah. about that. So it's going to be on. Uh, it's going to be in Dublin, so in Wellington Park. It's mm -hmm. going to be on July 25th from 9 to 10. But it's just going to be a very fun little uh, body sculpting class that we're doing, and all the proceeds are going to go towards the Dublin Food Pantry, nice. uh, which has pretty much been raided with the uh, whole COVID and everything going around. Oh, so it's been yeah. really fun to get back. Good. But, um, yeah, Good love back. it. Good for you. Okay, Lorraine, we can't let you go without giving people the home of the week. Oh, we're so excited, Sean, to talk about the home of the week. It's in Wedgwood. Take a look at the pictures here. What I love about this is home is straight out of the south. It's got a front porch and a gracious back porch, brick front, three fireplaces oh and a gosh. walkout lower level. So you get all of this, of course, in the highly regarded Olentangy School District. That is our home of the week. If you have any questions about the home of the week or um, how to decorate your home or what updates are smart to do for resale, we'd love the opportunity to talk to you. You can just go on our website, heatheringtonteam.com. We'd love the opportunity to talk to you about buying or selling your home. All right. And Rona, they get you how? You can just find me on ronainteriors.com. Wonderful. We've had a great visit. Appreciate it. I've been sitting here a long time without food and wine. So this is a... There we go. <laughs> it's too long. Very easy. Come on, Will. Get going. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Gosh.